a blast from the PlayStation Underground Pass I never thought would come across my way. Let's journey into a game that didn't get the shot it deserved back in those days with Gangway Monsters. Gangway Monsters is an odd action RPG-ish sports game developed by Sony Japan back in 1998 for Japan and only Japan. There was a point where it seemed like they were planning on releasing it internationally since they had an English demo in the legendary PlayStation Underground demo disc. But I suppose back in those days they somehow didn't see interest in the game and we never got to get it here in the states. Since it's a Japanese only game, I don't exactly know how this episode will turn out. But I'll try my best because I really want to showcase this nostalgic game from my childhood and maybe if I'm lucky a dev of this game will see this and realize this awesome game should come back. So let's jump into it and try to decipher the story it has. The story of Gangway Monsters is about a strange object that falls from the sky that contains the material that eventually is used to create the monsters of the game. With this new technology, people eventually compete in tournaments for prize money. That's really all I could gather from my research of the game, which was from a site known as PSX Data Center. Either the story really is that minimalistic, which makes sense given it seems like a game focused mostly on the gameplay and nothing else, or there could be more to it that's unknown because I can't read or understand Japanese. Maybe if one of you out there has the game and knows the story, you can drop it in the comments for the rest of us to check it out. But for now, Gangway Monsters will still remain a mystery to me in terms of story. So we'll move on to the next category and see how this game looks. Maybe it's the nostalgia glasses talking, but as dated as the graphics look in this game, they still have a charm to them that I admire. Maybe it's because of the unique and cool monster designs, or maybe it's the really neat art style the game has, but there's something about it that I always enjoy each time I play the game. The arenas you fight in might be my only gripe as they feel bare bones, but everything else helps complement the game to the point where the arenas don't feel like that big of an issue and still have a charm to them that I'm sure someone out there will enjoy whilst they battle it out. Gangway Monsters looks decent to great in my opinion, but now I'm extremely curious of how the game sounds. The music for Gangway Monsters is a mixed bag that's expressive and very charming to me. You'll get cutesy cheery music, and the music you have during battle gets me excited to do my best in the tournament. I wish there was more to talk about, but honestly an old game like this doesn't have much aside from music alone since voice acting wasn't everywhere like it is now. I just love that this music really hits the nostalgia for me and really brings me back to a time as a kid when I used to pretend this game was an extension of Pokemon and I used calculators as Pokedexes for this game's monster database and I draw them and make entries for them. With that said, the game's looks and music give me great memories, but now I want to see if the gameplay awakens the old fan within. The gameplay for Gameway Monsters is some of the most simple you can get in a video game, but has a minor level of strategy to it to help keep things interesting. You'll do battle with three monsters of your choice from your gang of merry creatures. They ride on spinning tops and crash into each other like bumper cars while you build up your special meter which you'll use to unleash your special move to deal damage until you win. 
Your strategies in this game come from heading to the shop to customize your vehicle, using various parts to do things like increased speed and special gauge buildup. You can also obtain power-ups each time that you win that you can use prior to your next battle that can give you bonuses to defense to even charging up your special meter faster. There's even the purchase of these strange orbs that seem to contain the matter or DNA of these monsters, which you'll take to your local scientist to combine individual pieces to create a multitude of different monsters to add to your roster. The game gets more interesting when you realize that you can apparently upgrade or evolve your monsters as they level up too. Just overall, this game has the nostalgia package for me, and I hope those of you who ever find this game somehow, find the same amount of enjoyment out of it like I did. Gangway Monsters is such a fun and incredible game for me. I can't hide my bias for how much I enjoy this game that I played the demo of growing up. To be able to revisit this game in the current year just shows me how far in the future we are and how much we have left to go in terms of evolving technology. I would absolutely love for this game to make a return as a remake and then continue it as a series with more monsters included and such. Thank you guys for joining me on this nostalgic adventure. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Under Radar, and share this video around if you think we need more Under Radar in the world. Thank you guys for another fantastic episode of Under Radar, and I'll see you on the next one.